with Paul Carr, one of my favorite writers. Paul, how you doing? I'm doing very well, Carr. How are Good. you? Good. It's part of my ongoing series, Meet the Writers and Bloggers. Very right. exciting. And and the other, my other series is VCs really aren't that loathsome, but this one's much better. Listen, you you had a, tell your first book was called what? What was it, it called? It's called Bringing Nothing to the Party: Colon True Confessions of a New Media Whore. Right. Excellent. Which is one of my favorite titles. <laughs> Um, and it was about your adventures in attempting to be a dot-com billionaire. I right. was going to be the next, the next uh, Zuckerberg or the next, you know, whatever. But, but you were what a ten centenaire, right? Um, I didn't even make that. I, oh, I, I failed excellent. in a way that you can only some people can only dream of failing. As ah, well, as I did. well, which makes you like a lot of people. Here. Well, yeah. Except the the thing is, I then got to write a book about it, which was right. successful. So therefore, it was a successful failure. Which right. Is, and now you're working on your next book, which yes. is about living as a digital nomad. Correct? Digital nomad. Yeah. I, I gave up everything I had. I sold my um, gave up my apartment in London. Sold all my stuff and decided to live virtually essentially for a year. And you're working on a book about that. Uh, and I'm now writing year. a book about that as well. And what was the experience like? I mean, it's a great idea. I love it the concept. It was liberating. The mm -hmm. idea that you don't, like, you can wake up in the morning and just think, where should I go today? I know Iceland or mm -hmm. I'll come to San Francisco or whatever is the best thing on earth. In fact, it kind of ruins normal living for you after that. Like, really? even now. My suitcase is still packed. Oh. I don't know where I'm going, but mm -hmm. there might be somewhere. So and yet you're not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere because I just got a right. visa and moved what's here. The, but what is this, so what's your favorite part of that is being able to be anywhere you want, correct? It's that, the and it's, it's yeah, it's that. It's the fact that you can yeah, you don't, if something is happening across the world, if you mm -hmm. see and because of like social media now, you'll often see a hub of activity. People, loads of people say, oh, we're at South by Southwest, right? And you can just go, oh, I'll go there, right? And you don't have to think about. You know, you, uh, can I afford it? Because it's the same cost. Because you just you move out of one hotel and you move to another hotel, yeah. for example. Or so, yeah, you just move your life. To oh, wherever that's the fun nice. Is. Yeah, I have kids. If you do that, you get arrested. If I yeah, do that. yeah. You, you can't leave those young kids at home. You shouldn't abandon children, yeah, especially with knives. As a rule. So, 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 let me ask you another question. So, you're working on that book, and now you've but you settled digital nomad here in San Francisco. Yeah. Correct? So it was only so the the experiment was going to last a year. Um, although it's kind of now in my head, so I'll mm -hmm. always kind of be more right. nomadic. But yeah, so I've now decided I'm. this is my favourite place that I, I came to. I ended up spending a lot of time here. thought, you know, I can move here, got a visa, and here I am. Really? Right. So what are you going to be doing? You write in column for The Guardian. Writing in column for The Guardian. Um, tech and other things. that out about whatever. Well, I mean, I pretend it's about tech. I try right. to slip a mention of an iPod in there every week, and then I can write really? about what I like. Always slip an iPod in. Exactly. That's it's a good my rule tip. as a, a tech good reporter. Tip for, for almost every situation. I was going to um, write a column that just said, Apple, 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 Twitter, 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 Twitter. I bet it would have had huge traffic. I bet it would. It would, yeah. it would get on tech me. What are the tr tech trends you think are interesting right now? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. Not as an expert, as I an outside wry observer. Yeah, like you did um, that famous piece on the web, where you. Well, the biggest tech trend in tech that I see at the moment is, is absolute panic. Right. Um, the, ah. the sort of you know everyone, like I went to South by Southwest. It was like Night of the Living Dead. Everyone, mm -hmm. everyone was trying to have fun, but right. there was just dead behind Forced the eyes. Fun. I think yeah, I think there's a lot of. It's you know it's happening again to a degree, but but maybe in a different way. Of people are now thinking, oh maybe we need. I mean revenues is the big right. trend. Yeah, it's, revenues. It's people looking, but. But content revenues is, is what I'm really interested in as well. Everyone's now, I mean, the AP thing that happened right. this week and stuff. Everyone's yeah, that now, bunch of geniuses. Oh, aren't they brilliant? I mean, seriously, <laughs> fuck. I mean, some people deserve to I die. am so embarrassed for my people. I know, right? I know. I, uh, but that, um, yeah, your boss, in fact. Oh, Joining please, in, not holding discuss. their hand. No comment. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the big trend is content um, is maybe still king, but somebody's going to have to, you know, pay for the right. rounds and the carriages and whatnot. Um, and what will happen to it? Will we end up with no journalists anymore and everything's just rumour and crap on Twitter? Right. That can't happen. So somebody's going to have to figure this out. Right. Um, so yeah, so the big tech trend is making it pay. Absolutely. In my head. Lastly, you just had a visit to Google with a bunch of British people and then you <laughs> went to Microsoft, right? Yes. Takeaways from each place. Um, Google, three people do the work there. Everyone else is either swimming or playing with dogs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Sometimes. And they the like it time. that way. They love it. I mean, they, they always looked happy. I mean, we went in and there was a dog tied to a lamppost as if, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't have a dog of your own, just <laughs> you, can, you can hot dog. It's like the bicycles. Yeah, it's like hot desking but with dogs. Um, the other, and then Microsoft is, it's like visiting the set um, from Robocop before it's finished. It uh -huh. was just like this weird dystopian corporate feature of, of uh -huh. the most boring place on earth. You know, that's worked for them. Um, yeah, it's, I, again, I can't, I mean, they have yeah. slightly more money than I do, so I can't yeah. knock them. Well, we want you to go to Twitter now and see what you think I'd about that. I'd love to. I can't Excellent. wait. Excellent. All right. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.